So, kind of a little bizarre little activity here. I need the uh, surf straps. Maybe these extra surf straps too. I don't know if it's gonna fit. If it does fit though, this is gonna be really cool. All right. Not every day you find one of these things lying around. Just come into the sushi live. It links back here. <laughs> Street Station, this is like Lincoln the, Center. It needs a little TLC, huh? Just a little. How was your piano lesson? Good, I'm doing my homework. Oh, awesome. It fit. It does fit though. I'm really happy. Okay, so uh, happy Jan, actually no, it's February. Happy February. How was your January? It's hard to believe we're in February already. I am in the throes of memorizing a, a very long list of snarky puppy songs for the Ground Up Festival next week. I can't, I can't show you this list, but, um, but this is the number of tunes that, uh, that we're working on trying to memorize about 43 or so. Some of you long time, long time listeners, long time viewers may remember a, a blog post I wrote, an article I wrote years ago about memorizing, I don't know, about 20 Snarky Puppy songs in my system for doing that. This is sort of an abbreviated version with a checklist that lets me know when I've gone through the song once, twice, three times, etc. cetera. Uh, there's a, a lot left to fill out on this sheet. Where were we? Yeah, January, I took the family back east. My grandmother was turning 99 and we went back. The kids also had never seen snow and we got really fortunate. We got snow on our last day. So they got to do, we'll play in the snow and we got to do some sledding, which was awesome. Go, go, no, you're not going. Up the hill. There she goes. Yay! Whoa. And then got back here and hit the ground running. I had some time blocked out to write new music for the guitar band show. Um, writing is so difficult. Like composing is just very, very challenging for me. I, I basically won't do it without a, without a deadline. There has to be a thing. There has to be a recording, perhaps a show. I, the show doesn't always do it. Almost always it has to be a recording to get me to, you know, like I'm always writing and stuff, but I mean, what, what do I mean? I'm not always writing. When I have ideas, I just document them. I might put them in a voice memo thing in my phone or in an Evernote or it's in the logic file. There's a lot of different ways, but it's not until I have an event that I am, that I want new music for that I have to go through and sort through everything and say, was, were there any good ideas here that I still like and, and that process, which is very time consuming and also kind of kicks my neuroses into overdrive. like. You know, any problems that I have as an imp with myself as an improviser are just magnified, magnified, magnified tenfold when you're composing. Because composing is like improvising slowed down. So you're, so you're having these thoughts, you generate these ideas, but then, you know, your little, my little self-judging editor comes in and goes, hmm, are you sure about that one? That's kind of, that's kind of simple, isn't it? Maybe you, uh, maybe you need to kick that up a notch or do something to it. Think of a song like Chameleon by Herbie Hancock. But up, but up, but up, but up. If I were the one who wrote that song, my little editor on my shoulder would have showed up and said, nah, that's, that's too simple. You gotta do something more than that. So writing is always like a really tricky thing for me. But uh, yeah, so that week started off on Saturday with... It's Saturday night here in Hollywood. First gig of this semi-overbooked week. Monday. I've been 
shedding this music of Scott's for Scott Kinsey's gig. <laughs> Playing with Gary and Jimmy, not only is the music, I love those guys, they're all great, incredible musicians, the music is really challenging and a lot of fun and it's sort of outside my, my normal zone, so it really, really pushes me to, well, I gotta get a lot together to do that gig, but also Chick Corea, Electric Band 2. This is an album that I, I listened to so much in high school and both Gary Novak and Jimmy Earl, I mean, they're the rhythm section on this, so. It's like a real thrill to be playing with them. Also, one of my favorite albums of all time, and uh, Kurt Rosenwinkel's The Enemies of Energy. Scott Kinsey is the piano player, keyboardist on that album. So again, it's just like a big thrill to be playing with these guys. By the way, if you wanna hear some audio from that gig with Scott Kinsey's band, I did put it on my website. I'll put a link below the this video. <laughs> Then it was the guitar band show. It's three o'clock, a little past three o'clock, and uh, the guitar band show is tonight. I actually have to be at the club at five o'clock, and it's with traffic, it's definitely more than an hour away. I have not warmed up yet. I'm bummed about that, but I've done other important things today, uh, including get some exercise and pack for the trip tomorrow. I have a 7 a.m. flight tomorrow. And I have this new tune that I, I'm, I'm, st <laughs> I'm still tweaking it, like, right now. Distortion coming from getting through traffic at this time of day to get downtown to Los Angeles to the club It's always it's always stressful unless I just you know, I probably should just plan to leave like two hours in advance Oh my gosh, so close and yet so far I'm move it over here. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is my pedal board guys. I want you to know that I showed up first. Yes, that's true. Number one. Yes Just got here, just got to the hotel, um, and four o'clock we have to be downstairs to go to the venue. So I've got, uh, I think, just enough time for a quick shower. Okay, time for a quick shower and change. That's better.
All right, I gotta get back to shedding this music for uh, for the Ground Up Festival. Hey, if you see this video and then you're at the Ground Up Festival, please come say hello. Also, uh, a couple of quick things to mention. February 26th, my band, the quartet, will be at the Portland Jazz Festival. We'll be at the Jack London Review Tuesday, February 26th. Uh, as well as a few dates after that. Love to see you there. And then we're headed to Europe in the end of March, and, uh, UK and Europe, end of March, April. Um, more details on that to follow. <laughs> Ta-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-